Welcome back. One final point before we go. It's funny how Democrats are so outraged over unsubstantiated allegations of collusion between Congressman Nunez and President Trump. They're raging about outright false accusations of collusion between President Trump and Vladimir Putin. But for some reason, this life and death, substantiated, corrupt conflict of interest, it doesn't seem to bother them. A citizen journalist attacked, his home raided, an attorney general who solicited signatures for Planned Parenthood, a congressman who received thousands of dollars from the abortion giant, a nasty web of connection, all leading to 15 bogus felony charges for a man who sacrificed almost three years of his life to expose horrific wrongdoing. Meet David Delayden. He's the man behind the videos that show Planned Parenthood chopping up aborted babies, bargaining and selling the aborted baby body parts for profit. What are, your, what are you looking to supply today? We were asked to procure uh, certain tissues like brain, liver, thymus, pancreas, heart, lungs, skin, pretty much anything on the, on the fetus. A lot of people want to attack parts of the baby when they're looking for specific nodes. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. I remember leaving that day, like, what have I got myself into? Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted longer. And then she felt like I said, always as many intact livers as possible. So I don't want to sound like a salesman here, but I'm going to. So we return a portion of our fees mm -hmm. to the clinic. Oh. Yeah, and so if we alter our process mm -hmm. and we are able to obtain intact fetal cadavers. It's all just a matter of line items. Selling the body parts of aborted babies for profit is a federal offense punishable by up to 10 years in prison or a fine of up to half a million dollars. Don't just take my word for it. Look it up yourself. It's called prohibitions regarding human fetal tissue. Because of these videos, Congress has referred Planned Parenthood for criminal prosecution in Texas. The Senate Judiciary Committee does not make referrals lightly. Meanwhile, in California, moral bankruptcy reigns. Never mind the federal law of the land that prohibits the sale or the purchase of aborted baby body parts. Never mind the moral obligation to protect the most vulnerable among us. Never mind the dignity with which we as Americans honor our dead. If you threaten the abortion industry, they will take you down by hook or by crook. In this case, both. State Attorney General Javier Becerra charged David DeLayden and his partner Sandra Merritt with 15 felony counts. What were the charges, you ask? for recording people without their permission. Yup, just as bogus as you might imagine, and it won't hold up in court. Even Planned Parenthood CEO Cecile Richards herself said the recorded conversations were not in a confidential space. My judgment, it was inappropriate to have that conversation in a non-clinical setting, in a non-confidential non area Which uh, about clinical oh, matters, okay. and, I have, oh. and I've told that to Dr. Nukatola. And it gets even shadier than that. The law in California prohibiting journalists from recording undercover videos of healthcare providers, which, by the way, is probably an outright violation of our First Amendment rights, this law was crafted in part by none other than former Attorney General Kamala Harris. The law was passed after Daleiden released his video. And guess who helped write the text of that law? Yup, Planned Parenthood. The chief legal counsel for Planned Parenthood affiliates of California emailed Attorney General Kamala Harris for advice about the wording of the bill to make sure it would hold up legally in California's justice system. Isn't that a shady little partnership? It's not surprising, though, Kamala Harris stepped down as attorney general in 2016 after she won a bid for the United States Senate. Guess who contributed $2,600 to her Senate campaign? Yup, Planned Parenthood. Harris also pocketed nearly $40,000 in campaign donations from the pro-abortion lobby. After Kamala Harris won her Senate bid with the help of Planned Parenthood's blood money, Congressman Javier Becerra, now Attorney General Becerra, same one who charged Daleiden with 15 felony counts, he stepped into her place. But when he was Congressman, Javier Becerra also had his pockets packed with donations from, yup, Planned Parenthood. $1,035 in 1998, $1,000 in 2002, 500 bucks in 2004, $2,000 in 2012, and $1,000 in 2014. And now, one of Becerra's former aides while he served in Congress works as a lobbyist for, you guessed it, Planned Parenthood. And there's just one more thing. The dishonest abortion lobby tried the same corrupt trickery in Texas. Guess what happened? Both the charges and the district attorney, they were thrown out. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us live here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.